You said about Groovy that shook the whole country. Was he trying to like bruise his ego or <laughs> you were just honest, you were just really trying to get to back honest, at him? To be honest, like I would apologize for that. Um, mm -hmm. I really regret that I said that, mm -hmm. but it was just it was just something I said out of anger. I regret that, and I'm really sorry I said that. It was really banter. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I want to stop this conversation with what Beauty said about wanting to be in a relationship with Hermes if Hermes was in the level two house. Now, I'm trying to understand, this is Hermes, who is in a polyamorous relationship. Now, mind you, Beauty is already out of the house, and I'm sure she's probably had one or two things, right, about whatever is happening outside of the house with the candidates or the housemates. So here you are in an interview saying that, you know what, you would have preferred to be in a relationship with Hermes, who has two girlfriends, right? But you find it hard to be in a relationship with Groovy, who doesn't have a girlfriend, who both of you are in a ship. Hermes is not a one-woman man guy, and here it is. It's just Chonji that was dancing with Groovy that you have an issue about, and I'm wondering how you're going to survive with Hermes. Well, the interview started, and of course, she was welcomed and set. And then she was asked the question, did you have a strategy going into the house? And she said no, that she dropped the whole Miss Nigeria, whatever. She dropped it outside and came into the house with no strategy, and that was her biggest mistake coming on the show. I actually had no strategy, but I think that was the biggest mistake. I walked into the house and I dropped Miss Nigeria outside the door. Right, right. I walked in as beauty. So she literally just wanted to vibe with people, meet with people, the boy next door, the girl next door, just have a good time. And the coming into the house without a strategy was very, very detrimental to our existence on the show. And I'm also thinking that, do you really want to come with a strategy? Because no strategy you bring on this, this show right now is new to anybody. Ask Bella and Shex, we've seen it before with Kidwa, Erika, also and Nenny. There's no strategy. Even the cooking strategy is not a strategy anymore because everybody now can cook. She went on to talk about the fact that Khalid, Kess, and of course, Saif were people in the house where people she bonded with during the show and all of that. And she also, you know, reiterated the fact that she lost her head in the game. She was working with her heart and not with her head. Situation, isn't yeah. it obvious? I probably should have moved more with my head than my heart. Right. Because even Kes said that to me. He said, you're moving in this house with your heart, not your head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think you need to swap. And she was literally right, because the beauty we saw when they were introducing themselves when they came into the house, the very first day they were welcomed into the show, is not the beauty we eventually saw. The beauty started off like this and started going down like this and all of that. And she literally even said that Kes, she calls him Sir Kes, called her one day and said, you know what? You're losing yourself in this game. You're moving with your head and not with your heart. And one of the revelations she made during the show was the fact that herself and Groovy were dating, but that they didn't want it to be known to the house that, like, before the second week elapsed, they were already official, they were dating. I mean, they were having conversations. And I remember that there was a time that, you know, Fina and Amaka were cautioning Beauty about getting into a fight and all of that with Groovy and with maybe Shamsi and Elebae. And she was like, you don't know what me and this guy always say under the duvet when we're together. Yeah, and that's what's very crazy. We had oh, started okay. dating before we two. Oh, After it? the okay. Saturday thing, we had a conversation on right. the duvet and, you know, he was very clear that he wanted me to be his girlfriend, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. She went ahead to talk about the fact that Groovy was even the more territorial one, that he wasn't just showing it to the outside world, but he was the more territorial one as he had a problem with Khalid and Cass. So Khalid, you know, close to, um, uh, what's her name, to Beauty, they are both northerners, and of course Cass probably just gave her a forehead kiss at some point. But in the long run, I mean, Groovy didn't like it as they talked about it under the shit. And he told her that he didn't like the fact that Khalid and Kes were getting closer to her. And she tried to make sure that she put in that space. That even Kes saw it one day and called both of them and said, you know, guy, Groovy, I'm close to your girl. Not that I won't have anything to do with her. We're just very good friends. In mm. private, you're telling me you don't like Sa Okay, like the day Sarkez kissed my forehead, you you don't like it. The next time he wanted to do that, I removed myself from that situation. Right. Sarkez even noticed it and had to, at the pool party, he had to you call, call you circus. Yeah. That's now, why was Chomzi a problem? She now said the funniest part is this. Chomzi was never the real problem. It was a conversation that herself and, you know, Groovy had. Then when they got to the party, he was like, okay, you go dance with some people, I'll dance with some people. And he was even the one who asked her, who shouldn't I dance with? And she was like, okay, dance with everybody, but don't dance with Chomzi. And it was just like a very casual conversation. But now, here he is. She goes back and she finds him dancing with Chomzi. She eventually admitted to the fact that, you know what, there was a bit of alcohol in the system that made her misbehave the way she did. If you tell me you don't like this thing and I'm listening to you, why can't you listen to me too? Right. Yeah. I guess, I mean, alcohol, day body, everything. So, I mean, she was then asked about, you know, Kali because she says herself and Kali are very close. So she was asked about Kali, like, okay, what's up? 
you and Khalid, how's, how's the relationship going? Is your brother and all of that? She said, it's fine. And then she was asked, have you seen the video of Khalid and Daniela Nakin? And when they showed her the video, she literally almost fell off the seat. So apparently, Groovy and Beauty almost had, almost knocked on the house. But she said that they decided to just take it slow because they probably don't want to do that on national TV and all of that. And that one of the things that she liked about him was the fact that she's, she's drawn to cool guys, very cool guys. And uh, yeah, that's what she saw in Groovy. That was one of the things she saw that made her attracted to him. Now she was asked, she made a statement about the freak size, the manhood size of Groovy saying he was small. Was it really true or you were joking? And she literally apologized and said, you know what, I'm very sorry. I need to apologize for that. She apologized and said that it was just banters. And what she said was a lie. And so you get to be honest, to like, I would apologize for that. Mm -hmm. I really regret that I said that. Mm -hmm. But it was, just, it was just something I said out of anger. I regret that and I'm really sorry I said that. Well, we hope that these two people might even just be cool as friends. Because, you know, in the conversation, she'll say like, you know what, she still feels some type of way about, about him and she wished that he talked before she left the house. But of course, she knows that Guru is going to move on. But the Guru we're seeing right now is not, doesn't look like he's tilting towards any lady in the house. But even a marker that is trying to move a ship to his, he's looking like the fact that what's wrong with these two girls? I mean, your friend just left the house and you're right trying to ship yourself with me. And then she was asked, who do you see winning the show? In level one, she tipped Dwayne and Hermes. And in level two, she tipped Khalid, Cass, and of course, um, Fina. She also tipped Groovy. She almost forgot Groovy. In the mentions but of course she eventually remembered Groovy and so of course she tipped Groovy to also win and she finally apologized to everybody for her misbehavior and how she you know um displayed herself during the show thank you i'm so sorry i left like this but thank you and that's it on this video, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a video. We're on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I come away again very soon. It's bye for now. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy White Money. So, like, I'm so in shock right now. I'm so in shock right now, in it. Because my time and the Nigerian time was the same right here in Dublin. The time is the same. But something is shocking me right now. It's 10 minutes after 8 p.m. But the day never dark. Yeah. It, the day never dark, in it. Like, why day never dark for here? But even Nigeria, like 6 o'clock, everywhere changes yellow. You understand? Everywhere just become black as hell, in it. You know, some like, is it because they don't have enough Amosu? here like and the which is here to make it dark i, I don't know because i'm confused in it look at everywhere just bright 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 and this is after eight but for ninja it's so close oh sorry in nigeria in it it's